G-O-A-T, the greatest of all time. It's a term that is now part of common vernacular and used so often that it's beginning to lose its importance. For most that are deserving of it, we unintentionally seem to bestow it upon a rightful owner when it's far too late. With the college basketball season on the doorstep just two weeks away, November 7th, it's time to lay out some flowers for a local goat who will still be able to smell them while he's active. For the 17th season, Ben Jacobson will lead the Northern Iowa men's basketball team. Sure, you already think he's received due respect with a bracket-busting win over top-seeded Kansas in 2010, or as the only head coach in Missouri Valley history with two all-time wins over a number one ranked team. In the Valley's 155-year history, his conference record five MVC Head Coach of the Year awards may seem like he's an obvious choice for conference GOAT status. Sure, but the real reason may be the impact he's having on other teams across the country all the way up to the pros because of Jacobson's coaching traits that aren't measured in just wins and losses. Jacobson's coaching tree is producing winning programs not just at you and I. Look at the staff he's helped mentor along the way. That 2010 upset over Kansas and Sweet 16 run saw a young former Minnesota Gopher athlete on the coaching staff named Ben Johnson. Johnson will now enter his second year as head coach of the Gophers and just slammed home the school's biggest recruit in 25 years. Fast forward to the 2015 shocker over number one North Carolina in the McLeod Center in the middle of a snowstorm. Kyle Green and Eric Crawford both serving as assistants that day. Green is entering his second year as assistant at Iowa State after helping T.J. Otzelberger steer one of the biggest turnarounds all time in college basketball. That impact no doubt helped make the decision easy for the Cyclones to come calling on Crawford this past offseason. Eric Crawford served as assistant the last 12 years, helping Jacobson and the Panthers win the Valley regular season title two of the last three years. And in the same year as that UNC upset, his coaching helped topple number five ranked Cyclone team in the now defunct Big Four Classic at Wells Fargo Arena. In 2019, Panther alum and coaching staff member John Little left the staff for an assistant gig with the Milwaukee Bucks G League team, helping develop young talent that contributed to the Bucks and a 2021 NBA title. Jacobson has also helped usher in a new era in Panther basketball, the NBA. Saturday night, two-time NBC Player of the Year, A.J. Green became the first Northern Iowa alum to play in the NBA on the Milwaukee Bucks team. I know Power 5 schools in the state are already tired of Panther fans shouting into an empty forest, but our hands are tired from gesturing our wonderment that the schools that have no problem benefiting from Jacobson's understudies by hiring them, yet conveniently choose to not put their athletes' talents against a Jacobson coach team anymore. Maybe it's a sign of the times and big TV deals wanting matchups with other Power 5 teams. Maybe there's no upside. Maybe they just fear the Valley Goat.